It's now time for Mark Hankins. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. So he said, I run through the troop and I jump over the wall. Woo, come on. How many of you got some, some situations, some challenges around you? And you say, come on, naturally you say, I'll never get over that wall. Naturally you say, I'll never make it through those enemies. But when you get lit, Come on, you say, I can run through the troop. I can jump over the wall. There is no enemy that can stop you. There is no limitation that can stop you when you have. I know what I have. The same spirit of faith. Praise the Lord. Go ahead and laugh for a minute. So Wigglesworth said, faith laughs at impossibility. I want you to think about three things right now that look impossible. And I want you to laugh at each one of them. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, the devil said, you never get that land. Ha, ha, ha. Devil said, you never get that church bill. Ha, 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 ha. How are you ever going to pay for that? Ha, 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 ha. Come on, I'm laughing at impossibility. <laughs> Woo. Come on. Yeah, your church will never change. Come on now. Ha, 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 ha. Woo. I got a spirit of faith. Ha, ha, ha. That's one, that's one thing. Let's go to the second thing right now. Your husband will never change. <laughs> your wife will never change. Come on, your kids ain't ever going to change. Come on. Come on, how many believe God can change anybody? Amen. It's not my job to change people. My job to believe God. I believe and I speak. Praise the Lord. Listen, if you can't move your mouth in a meeting like this, you're going to have some challenges, I can tell you that. In other words, the spirit of faith is more than just a formula. Amen? In other words, understanding how faith works is, is critical and essential, but faith is really more than just that. So you get lit. Listen. If you don't know how to light yourself, you ain't going to light nobody else. Come on, if you don't show up church lit, don't, don't think anybody else is going to get lit, you know, just because you showed up. You better show up lit. In other words, I got the Word. Come on, I got revelation of the Word. The Lord sent you there to change that community. Come on, to light it up with the gospel of Christ. Amen. Woo! Isn't that a good like Psalms 18? Spirit of faith, you know, he had like run through the troop. I'm gonna jump the wall. All right, let's let's talk about jumping the wall for a second. I mean, I, I've gone to a lot of churches that you can tell they ran at the wall. I call it the first flat faced church. They ran at the wall and hit that sucker. Once you ever hit a wall, you're like, I don't know if I want to run at them again. <laughs> and you hit that wall, you're like, Arr. But when you're lit, your spirit gets lit. So let's say this. Even though you have made progress, many times the enemy wants to stop you right at that place. You'll never get past 100 people in your church. 
Well, that makes me want to cuss. Yeah. <laughs> nice cussing, not really bad stuff. <laughs> In other words, the devil put certain limitations on you. You'll never get past, you know, $5,000 a week. You go, I'm ready to grab a corn stalk, swing out over hell, and spit in the devil's eye, man. I, I'm going places I've never been before. In other words, seeing things I've never seen before. In other words, the spirit of faith will change your scenery. Woo! Praise the Lord. Go ahead and laugh for a minute. Say, ha, ha, ha. Which means there's one thing you never let the enemy take from you. Amen? It don't matter if they, if they come repossess your car. You say, but I still got a spirit of faith. That means I'm going to get it back. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what I have. I know I have it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pretty good, isn't it? Like I run through the truth. Jump over the wall. I mean, I expected to go some places you've never been before to go over that wall. Woo! Come on, it might have taken me a year. It might have taken me 10 years, but I'm going over that wall. I'm going to see what's on the other side of that wall. Amen. <laughs> he said, then, then I'm going to chase my enemy down. I, I'm not satisfied that he's running. I ain't just glad he's running. I'm going to chase him down and stomp him underneath my feet. He'll never rise up again. Whatever the enemy has tried to do in your mind and your life, you chase that sucker down and stomp him and say, you'll never get up again. Somebody ought to shout right now. So I chased him down. I chased him down and stomped him. I chased him down. Come on, every sickness, every disease, every fear, every shame, every guilt, everything the enemy tried to limit you with, I chased him down and stomped him underneath my feet. It's not good enough that you're running. I'm going to stomp you. You ain't ever getting up again in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm washed in the blood. I'm a child of God. I've been born again. I'm a new creature in Christ. All things have passed away. Everything has become new. Jesus is my Lord and my Redeemer. I, I cannot be quiet about that. Go ahead and shout about it. Praise the Lord. Woo! Ha, ha, ha. Look at somebody and say, I'm, I'm lit already, man. I'm lit. I got lit. I got lit. I'm lit. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> I see the devil running already. I said, he's running already. I, he's running already. I said, man, he's running already. He ain't chasing me down. I'm chasing him down. Hey, he's running from me. Hallelujah. I have faith in God. I'm a believer. I'm not a doubter. Woo. Ha, ha, ha. Glory. God is on my side. The blood has been applied. Every need shall be supplied. Nothing shall be denied. So I enter in the rest. I know I'm blessed. I passed the test. I'll get God's best. Woo! Woo! Ha ha. Sit back down for a minute. Praise the Lord. The spirit of faith. is more than just a formula. It's a fire. It's a fire burning in your heart, in your spirit. It's really a fire of revelation of the Word. Amen. Paul said, I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed unto him against that day. Woo! Come on, when you're perplexed and you don't know some things, you got to say, but I know whom I have believed. Uh, and there's some things I can just commit to him until that day. In other words, I ain't going to worry about it this day. Come on, it's, it's not something I can figure out this day, but I know whom I have believed. Come on, you don't just know what you believe, you know 
whom you have believed. And I know he is faithful. Oh, I said, I know he's good. I know his mercy endures forever. I know his word cannot fail. I know whom I have believed. He is my God. He's the almighty God. He's my father God. He ain't just my daddy's God. He's not just my pastor's God. He's not just some TV preacher's God. He is my God. He knows my name, knows my address. He's my father God. I know whom I have believed. Praise the Lord. I don't have to know everything, but I know this. I am persuaded he is able to keep what I committed to him. So if the devil ever brings it up, you say, huh? I committed it to him. Ha oh. Amen. So here he says, the spirit of faith I believe in, I speak. So believing is pretty much the attitude of faith. So you really sometimes maintaining a spirit of faith is you really just have to deal with your attitude. Everybody that had a spirit of faith has to deal with their own attitude. I mean, the psalmist David is always talking to himself. He's just always talking to himself. If you have never talked to yourself on Monday or Tuesday, <laughs> after who you thought should have showed up didn't show up <laughs> so David would talk to himself I mean you got to get good at that talk to yourself David say my soul my soul my soul I'm talking to myself my soul What's that? Your soul. That's your mind, your will, your emotion. So when you got to deal with that, thoughts and imaginations, my soul, my soul, wait thou only upon God for my expectation, wait just a second, is only on him. All right, let's try that one more time. In other words, with the spirit of faith, you have to isolate your expectation. Because I don't have one eye on him and an eye on somebody else wondering what they're going to do. I have isolated my expectation to only on God. Number one, that means I cannot be disappointed. And number two, that means I am actually unlimited. His resources, my soul, come on, talk to yourself, my soul. Come on, my soul. Come on, when are you going to have that conversation? My soul, when are you going to have that? Come on, when are you going to have that? How, how long are you going to let yourself mess you up? You know, like a day, two days, three days, four days? Come on, how long are you going to let that last? David said, I need to talk to you right now. He said, can we do it later? No, I need to talk to you right now. <laughs> Go look in the mirror. He said, I need to talk to you right now. No, no, you're not, not something else. Now, right now, I need to talk to you. Then tell yourself, don't look down while I'm talking to you. Look at me. Y'all got kids? Look at me while I'm talking to you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So you're... Your soul, you talk to yourself. So in the spirit of faith, this is really the difference between leadership and followership. A leader can self. Come on. Like Paul told Timothy, we have a stir up. You're a leader, stir it up. Oh, let's try that again. I said, you're a leader. Come on now, you've been saved 40 years now. Stir it up. Come on, stir it up. You know what you got. Come on. You know how to stir it up. Stir it up. You got a fire. You got a flame burning on the inside of you. Stir it up. I know you got it. Paul said, I laid hands on you. I know what you got. Isn't that sad when somebody else knows what you got better than you know what you got? <laughs> he said, you got it. You got the gift of God on the inside of you. Now, stir it up. All right, let's try this right here. I said, I said, let's just stir it up. 
Imagine God giving you the divine initiative to stir yourself up. Woo, come on. I said, God said, you can stir yourself up. Hit somebody next to you unless it's your wife. Hit somebody next to you and say, stir it up. If it's your wife, she might hit you back. Stir it up. What's that? Boy, that's the fire, the spirit of faith on the inside of you that you can actually stir yourself up. Amen? So when he says we have the same spirit of faith, whoa. We got the same spirit of faith. That means we're going to get the same results. Spirit of faith works the same. So that's what I got. I know some of y'all are so much more advanced in this subject. I mean, you are so much more advanced. You've just gone so far that you just like, I already got that subject. But let me tell you this. You can stir up the gift of God that's on the inside of you. Amen. So when I was uh, 17 years old, Brother Hagen, Dad Hagen, came to my dad's church. So he taught on the subject of faith. Wow, he taught on faith so much I thought he ran out of sermon material. I'm like, well, my daddy's got a bunch of different sermons, and he's like got one, looks like here. And so every day he would teach on different facets of faith and how faith worked. And uh, so he would just teach on it, go over it again and again. And so I thought, wow, I finally got it, right? Even if you're a slow learner, I mean, you could get it. Don't look around right now. I said, if you you was a slow learner, you know. So I uh, went. So when I got it, I was like, wow, you can get pretty much anywhere in the world from here. If I could understand this, all right, uh, so if I could understand this, if I could get this, amen, you could just put me anywhere in the world, I'm going to be all right. And I've been just about there, too. So, I mean, you... you, you know, you got a spirit of faith. So I thought, if I could, if I could understand this and receive this and know how this works, wow. So 17 years old, that I just majored on that. I just spent so much time in how faith works. The ingredients to faith is what we're doing here in the morning. So I just went over the subject on faith and how faith works. And then, uh, you know, when me and Trina uh, got married, I mean, all of our dates, we were talking about faith and how faith works. Right? Then after our kids are born, I mean, Aaron and Alicia, I spent time every day teaching them about faith. Let me show you how faith works. You can kill giants. Come on now. You can move mountains. <laughs> if you can have faith in God, here's how faith works. Just majored on it. Major on it. I, I, I hate to tell you this. There's some things you're going to have to major on. Some of y'all know way too much about too many things that have too little influence. <laughs> just major on a few things. I figured faith, hope, and love, I can major on no. And what you're preaching, if it don't bring faith, hope, and love, you got some problems. Anyway, so, <laughs> so we just majored on faith and, and how faith works over and over again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. And so he says, we have the same spirit of faith. We believe and we speak. So believing is what? Attitude. Attitude. I told one of our employees, you know, we got a few employees. They're all wonderful except every once in a while. So I told one of them just a few days ago, I said, I don't like your attitude. And I don't have to put up with it. I can get a bad attitude for free, but I ain't paying you for it. I can get a bad attitude. I don't even have to have you work for me. I can find bad attitudes everywhere, but you ain't working for me with one. So you can decide what you're going to do right now, or you can just pack it up. You say, oh, yeah, you can change it that fast. Let me explain it to you where you can understand it. Come on, my daddy said you can get glad in the same britches you got mad in. You don't even have to change your pants to get happy. 
Let's try this. I said, you can get it. <laughs> Come on, some of y'all might have showed up done disappointed, but Bill, you can turn things around. You can turn your attitude around just like that. Praise the Lord. So he said, I believe, which is an attitude of expectation and faith. Something about Oral Roberts. My dad loved Oral Roberts. My grandma was a partner with Oral Roberts. <laughs> Who knows for how many years. And uh, Oral Roberts would always say what? Something good is going to happen to you today. All right, let's just try this out of it. Y'all ready? Who you want to point at? Something good is going to happen to you today. He said, every day there's a miracle coming to you or passing you by. But when you lift up your voice, come on now, the miracle is going to have to stop at your house. Something good is happening to you today. Very simple, isn't it? But it's an attitude of faith. I believe and I speak. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm glad to have Pastor David here laughing, helping me laugh on the front row. So 2 Corinthians 4, 13, he says, that's what we have, we believe, and we speak. And he's referring to the psalmist David. He's not referring to someone you never heard of. Because when somebody has a spirit of faith, there's going to be somebody you say, I heard about that. And go to verse 16, because we're just kind of getting this all in context here. He said, for which cause we faint not, we faint not, though our outward man perish. Our outward man is suffering, going through challenges. He says, but the inward man is renewed day by day. Uh, so what does that tell you? Well, it tells you one thing. Spirit of faith is not a weekly, monthly thing that you can maintain. It's not a message you can learn about. It's like a daily, a daily <laughs> believing and speaking. You are watching Mark Hankins Ministries faith for every nation. Jesus did not go through the agony of the death, burial, and resurrection to help us just a little bit. What happened from the cross to the throne in those three days changed everything. God is planting a whole new crop of righteousness, wisdom, redemption, sanctification, blessing, joy, and victory on the inside of you. Put on the new man by declaring who you are in Christ. The book, The Power of Identification with Christ, is just for you. You have a spiritual identity. You must have a change of identity to reach your divine destiny. The spirit of wisdom and revelation of God will show you who you are in Christ. Turn your faith loose today by believing and speaking God's word and move your mountain and overcome the adversity and any challenge you're facing today. You will also receive Pastor Mark's book, Faith Opens the Door to the Supernatural. Believing and speaking opens the door to the supernatural in your life. The spirit of faith will take the victim out of your voice and put victory in your voice. Your confession of faith brings you into the consciousness of who you are in Christ. When you hold fast to your confession of faith, you are connected to Jesus' victory. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the books, The Power of Identification with Christ, and Faith Opens the Door to the Supernatural. Order today by calling 318 767 2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you so much for joining us for the program today. We trust that you were blessed and you were encouraged. And you know, my dad always brings a challenging word to challenge your faith and your belief. We wanna get this word to you and we want to get faith opens the door to the supernatural 
to your home and to your life and into your heart. So for your gift of any amount, we can get this book to you. But I want you to know where your gift is going toward. It is going toward completing the Mark Hankins Ministry Conference Center. So this is a huge investment for us and for you. So thank you for going on there, ordering the book. We want it to be a blessing to you. Thank you for joining us again today. I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. For over five decades, our desire has been to teach foundational biblical truths to believers around the world. Now, like never before, we see an acceleration of that assignment and are determined to take the message of faith to as many nations possible, seeing lives, churches, and nations transformed by the Word of God. We've been to over 50 countries and have ministered the Word and the Holy Spirit in conferences, churches, and Bible schools. Some of these places we go to again and again, and the seed of the Word is still growing today. Our assignment is to distribute the Word on every avenue possible, broadcasting on TV, websites, social media, the app, and through publishing our books and CDs. We know if we do our part, God will do His part and make sure the Word lands at the right place at the right time. In the last days, the printed page will be the most effective distribution of the gospel. The stories of people receiving our books in remote places around the world fuels our vision to do what the Lord has called us to do. People are receiving our books deep in the heart of Africa, Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Iran, and Pakistan, and so many other places. Our books are currently translated in many languages and distributed in even more countries. Our vision is to have our books translated into a hundred different languages. Getting the written word in the hands of pastors and believers around the world is paramount to igniting the faith of generations to come. The books can go much further than we can. Partners, we ask you to continue to stand and believe with us that the Lord will continue to open the doors to new countries for our books to be distributed. Not only have we seen the faithfulness of God in the distribution of the books, but the television and media ministry has also accelerated as we recently launched out into daily television. We are now on the Victory Channel, BTN and the Word Network and are reaching a potential of 150 million homes worldwide. We desire to continue distributing the Word more efficiently. One way we are doing this is through building our brand new Mark Hankins Ministries Conference Center. This conference center will help us minister the Word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. We're also streaming our In Christ International Bible College around the world via Facebook and YouTube. This allows anyone in any country to catch the spirit of faith and study the Word at their convenience. With the advances of modern technology, the supernatural acceleration, and the new open doors, we are reaching more people today than ever before. And that's because of you. It's because of our partners that we're able to accomplish the assignment God has for us. When everyone pulls together, we will see amazing things happen for the kingdom of God. We thank you for your continued partnership. We could not do what we're doing without our partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org.